Hey, this is Forza 5 for the Xbox One. Uh, it is my first next-gen game, and I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks really good. And I'm actually, I'm testing uh, this car, the C apostrophe D, or the C, if you want to say it normally, on the Top Gear test track. First thing I'm going to have to admit to anybody who sees this video is I am not very good. I actually just, just turned off... Or I had it, I had it on like normal steering. I just put it on simula simulation steering, and I'm just not very good. I'm I'm driving this car in automatic. I don't even use manual shifting or anything like that. And you'll see right away on this first uh, lap that it does not go very well. And I have uh, turning assist on just for corners, and I do not. I, I have ABS on. I don't have uh, uh, the braking assist on though. That's just for... If you're gonna play a racing game, I don't care if you have everything else on, but at least turn off the assisted braking because you're really not driving the car at that point. At all. Anyway, in this video I wanted to talk about my love of Top Gear. I, uh, I've been watching the show for quite a while. Uh, probably at least 10 years, if not longer. We have... We've always had digital cable at my house and on our digital cable uh, we have a, a channel called BBC America which is obviously the BBC but you know broadcast for Americans like myself so it was on there a lot actually and there are other ways now that you can watch Top Gear you can watch it on Netflix they have 19 of the 20 seasons and if I remember correctly nine days from now Season 21 is supposed to come out. But anyway, Netflix is only $7.99, so if you see this and you want a taste of what Top Gear actually is, I'd definitely uh, spend the $7.99 or even try a free trial. I think Hulu might have it too, I'm not sure. But I've been watching the show for a really long time, though. And I just gotta say, like, I love the hosts, I love the wacky stuff that they do, the challenges and the. the, the Races, they, the races are actually one of the coolest things about that. Usually, uh, there's three hosts: uh, Richard Hammond, James May, and Jeremy Clarkson. And it's always Jeremy in the car and uh, Richard Hammond and James May in in the in like public transportation and stuff like that. But anyway, this is their uh, their test track where they uh, it's like a figure eight track, as you can see down in the bottom left hand corner, where they will actually. They test like cars. Uh, manufacturers let them borrow cars to test. But they also every show they usually do an interview with. It's called Star and Reason with Price Car. And before the C apostrophe D, the Kia car I'm driving right now, they had like a Chevy, a Chevy, Chevy Le Leon or something like that. But anyway, so they'll put the guest who's come on the show in this car with the Stig, and he'll teach them how to drive around the track, and then they'll see what kind of times they can get. And the times usually range between, with the C apostrophe D anyway, they usually range between 1.42 and all the way past 2 minutes sometimes for some of the slower people. So as you'll see in this video, I don't do all that well. I will definitely practice some more and try and do like an update video for you guys, for whoever might care to listen. Anyway, I just, I just really love the show, and I love... The host, Jeremy in particular, is my favorite host in the show, actually. Um, I just like the way that they have uh, challenges, like I said, and the way they interact with each other. It's like you, could, you it's like they have real chemistry, you know, unlike the American version where it just seems like they're there. This is where I'm showing, actually, what I have on, what I don't have on. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not a complete Care Bear, but I still have a lot of work. This is where I actually try and do like an official time and it does not go very well. I'm definitely in the slower half of the pull, totem pull. Um, and the thing they do on top here is they have specials and they didn't used to do this stuff. It used to actually, the show used to be kind of more cut and dry. I would say till about the fourth or fifth season. And uh, from there on though, they start doing really cool things like finding the greatest driving roads for, you know, and they have like specials where they go, they're the first uh, team of people to make it to the North Pole in a car. Like the actual North Pole, not, you know, Santa North Pole, whatever. 
the Vietnam special where they had to they had to ride uh, uh, bikes, mopeds and shit like that through uh, Vietnam. They had a Middle East special where they went the same route that the wise men went. And just this crazy stuff that I think you guys should definitely check out. I definitely love Top Gear, and I think everybody should give it a chance. Even if you don't like cars, even if you don't like cars, it's still entertaining enough, and it might even get you to like cars. I don't know. I'm not like the biggest car fan. My friend Anthony is bigger than I am, but I kind of just tag along and I dabble mainly. But I definitely need to get back in this car again on this track and see if I can breathe some more solid time because it's not going very well for me. But I'm really digging. I'm really digging this game. I'm glad that they have this 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 test track. They had in Forza 4 and also Gran Turismo 5. But I am enjoying my Xbox One, even with all the things about it being not as powerful, blah, blah, blah. It is kind of disheartening, but it definitely comes down to the games. And this is probably, in my opinion, one of the best launch titles ever developed. I know it doesn't have all the features that Forza 4 had, but I think they got something truly special, and I will enjoy countless more hours playing this game. I hope you guys enjoy you know the video and I hope to get more out and I guess I will see you all later thanks bye